Welcome everyone to more of Putt Putt and Fatty Bear's Activity Pack. And here is coloring. Now, on the screen here, the bottom left, this arrow here basically is you want to go back. And here is the toolbar. The arrow shows if you want to go to the next paint, next coloring page. The toolbar, this is basically um, the sponge. Basically, if you want to erase everything, if you're not happy with the colors you have, you can click this sponge here. Do you want to erase the colors? And Fatty Bear will basically ask you that question. Click the green yes or the red no. Now, the only colors you see here are red, blue, yellow, white, and black. But also, the, for this eyedropper that you see right here, you can grab this eyedropper and select the color that you want and to put into these colored boxes here. Like red and yellow. And you can also mix different colors too. Like red and yellow make orange. And blue and yellow make green. And so on and so forth. <clears throat> Here's the paintbrush. Have your the paintbrush on the color and to uh, select it in one of the in what there is here. But sometimes the controls may take some time to get used to, if you've never done this before. And don't worry if you haven't. In fact, this is my first time doing this, the coloring here. So it's taken some time for me to figure out what I gotta do here. Now usually by clicking this icon here, this is basically if you want to erase what you don't want. I wasn't sucking the eyedropper, so yeah, don't worry. I'm just gonna get the different colors here, so just give me a minute while I do this. But yeah, I wasn't used to the eyedroppers, but just happened there. Now you're probably wondering, you need like a br the color brown for the trees. You have to think to yourself what colors to use to get the color brown. You can use like the colors red, yellow. You can create brown by using the colors red, yellow, and blue. You can also make brown by mixing blue and orange together. And yeah, depend on what there is. So, sometimes you just have to keep clicking until you find the color that you want. But don't worry if it takes you more than one try here. If you're not having luck with what you're, what you want to have for the color that you want. But sometimes it's hard not to get the colors mixed up, depending on what you're doing here. I 
I know it's taking longer for what I'm doing here. But like I said, I'm not used to controls here, so. Don't worry if it takes time to get used to. Now to go to the next um, coloring, you have to um, click on the arrow here. Let go of what tool you have and click on the arrow. colors and to get what you want to get or what you want to have. So be creative. Enjoy what you want to color. I meant to click the this color blue here for the bubbles. But don't worry if you don't get the colors you want, just call in what you think. Even if you, even if you don't get what you want. Here's one fatty bear at the beach. I meant to call that triangle yellow, not the shorts, not his swim trunks. Here's one fatty bear. Ryan the horsey. I'll just color this last one before I end this video. It took longer, I know. Well, 
I'm not used to this, so... Just keep clicking to... You get familiar with it. Like, Photoshop can also take some time to get used to, too. If you never used Photoshop before. Which can also take some time. In fact, I'm getting this video right now. So, anyways, I'll end in this video, and I'll continue with more more of the coloring in the next part. See you then.